out here at our little range, um, got this custom rifle. It's the Bar Lapua Barnard action. It's the left hand feed, right hand bolt, bolt action and rifle that you've seen with all sorts of things. It's been a 300 um, Norma Magnum, it's been a 33 XE, it's been the 33, uh, 30 Weatherby Magnum, um, and most recently it's been the 45 120. But and the 45-120 is a process that I've been going through really sort of as something a bit interesting but to show the old cartridges um, were not that much different to the brand new best of country cartridges now um, once you set them up with decent powder and a good bullet and put them in a good action, a good rifle that they are still very accurate and can do lots of things. So that's a little bit of the reason to, for me putting the project I'm on. But that started from this rifle set it sort of like this, the 40, 45 caliber barrel um, and set up in the 4570. I do a little bit of modifying to make the, the, the round work. And this is them. That's the 4570, uh, which I'm running just in the normal thing with the Hornady um, 325 grain FTX round, which has got a bit of a spitzer and the ballistic tips, hunting round. But the only thing I have to do to the K to the cartridge is machine down, just take a few thou off the rim so it'll fit into the Lapua bolt face, which is what we're doing to make this work. But that's where this started. I ran from lead rounds to normal hunting rounds to factory rounds, that sort of stuff. These are hand loads, but just in a factory round sort of thing with a little bit more powder with what you can run. So still running inside the charts, like ADI charts, and we're running 2,400 feet per second out of the 325 grain projectile where these are that's in this barrel this barrel is just an average 45 cal barrel we got machined up i modified it into a 45 120 for a little while there um, before we went with a longer barrel because then it was a 24 inch barrel but ended up getting a long a 30 bit 30 inch barrel 32 inch barrel um, from swans to do the 45 120 which we've taken that over 3,000 yards come back to where at now this barrel was at 45, 120, didn't want to use it like that anymore, wanted to get back to where it had a sort of average 45, 70 barrel length sort of combination. That's what this is. It's now been rechambered to get it back to a 45, 70, standard 45, 70 chamber, 22 inch barrel. It's a one in 14 twist. Um, and so it's a pretty much what you'll find in a lever action, what you'll find in um, even some of the old uh, carbines, that sort of stuff, but it's set up in a good action and a nice chassis. That's the process. These are its first shots. We found out what speed we're doing with this ammo, that sort of stuff, but we thought we'd put it through a little challenge. We'd put a few things through. Um, probably a little bit, um, a little bit um, outrageous to think it would do it, but still sort of got there. So that's at 1155 yards. 121, we'll try that. That's Four left. Okay. Let's just see what I've got with that. Right, yeah. Good to go. Okay. Right. Level okay. the bottom edge. Two and a half targets right. Okay. Okay. They're pretty slow moving, so. Yeah. We got to. Not too far, but we'll see, that's 10. 10 left. It's okay. decent height, wasn't it? Yep. Right. right. Yep. yep. Okay. Low and right. Not further. We'll come up to. Okay. Hit. Got him. <laughs> On plate. Like yeah. two o'clock. Yep. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it's a good height. It is. Yay. Okay. Well, that's three and on. Yep. On to the next one. Okay. So, go another one. Okay. Of left. 
good height. Yes. There we go. It is. Oh, Ooh. just like top edge. Yeah. About ha half Shall target it? left. Okay. <laughs> Pretty close. Sorry? Yeah. Pretty close. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Top right. Not held. See the grass move, so it's not precise spotting. <laughs> Bottom right, put a target low, one target this right. One shoots back to where we were. Yeah, right here. Bottom right, level the right edge, one target low. Okay. That was definitely a slower ring for some reason. Yeah, okay. Hit somewhere moving. It's hard to see where the impact oh, well. is. That's seven shots. Yeah. And we're on to that. So now to the impossible one. Yes. So we'll see. Over there. Is it possible? Oh, Ooh. bottom right. One target low and right. That was close. Not terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Two more to get to ten, and we might go a bit further with this. But wow. Oh, bottom left. Level with the left edge. Half target left. Okay. Level with the bottom edge. Still pretty good. Yeah. I might have, I don't know, two more shots. I might yep. get twelve. And just see, that's not terrible. Oh, bottom right. One half target slow level it's to the right. It's sort of edge. in the ballpark, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> it's a very little target. It is a very little target. Just over top. A little bit of glass movement just over top. <laughs> well, we didn't get onto the six inch. Yeah. But still. Pretty close. That's no, 12, but that's not bad. Yeah. 45, 70. This barrel's sort of new and sort of old. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, shoots nicely, but. Yeah. I'm going to put a couple more on the big plate. Or do you want to, yeah, you should have a couple of shots. Uh So it just it should all be dialed in. Radio. You ready? Yep. Okay, for the big target. Yeah, big target, middle big target. Oh, just beneath it. Okay. Okay, hold top center. Okay. It's a bit of a poke. Oh, it's a 4570. <laughs> Where were your crosshairs? They're in the center center? Yep. Yeah, we'll just do that again. It's at it's like awesome. seven. It's at eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> um, five inches for the edge of target. We do that again. Um, I'm all. I'm way over. Bounce me right off. I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. Leave it <laughs> that. Okay. Okay. I should say for those people who are keeping up with that, the one we're doing at the moment is the 505 Gibbs. Similar sort of process. Um, and quite interesting where that one's going. So yeah, keep up with the channel and you'll see what that one's up to as well. Um, once this crop out here 
dries out and we get back to where we've got some dry paddocks to shoot into, then we want to push that one out and, and show what that's worth in the way of an ELR cartridge. Anyway guys, thanks for checking in. Hope you liked the video and we'll catch you next time.